Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Fist MW 209 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a login system um, which actually allows you to store users information in a MySQL database. So basically what you're going to start off by doing is logging into your cPanel um, at your web hosting uh, provider and basically create a, a new database um, which is going to store the users information in. After you've created a new database, you're going to want to create a new database user um, and obviously the password and allow the permissions, all permissions of the database user that you've created. For instance, I've just created one called test um, to the database, obviously the one test. So basically that's what you need to do first of all. Second of all, you're going to want some tables. Um, so you're going to want to create a new table called users. Once you create a new table, you want to create new uh, two new uh, columns. One named username, which is going to be a var chart two five five type, um, <coughs> and a serial, which is going to be a var chart five hundred. And basically, that's about it for the MySQL database side. Next, you're going to move over to your Visual Studio which I'm using Ultimate 2012 and creating a new project Windows Form application and you're going to want to name it whatever you want so login tut I'm going to name mine <coughs> next you're going to want to resize the form to your desired size and basically you're going to want to add two buttons um, because the first form is going to be um, the register one and you're going to want to add two labels and also two text boxes basically oh, basically that's text box 2, so that's text box 1 text box 2, label 2, label 1 so what you're going to want to do now is rename the labels um, so label 1 is going to be obviously the username and label 2 is going to be obviously password and what you're going to want to do is rename text box 2 to reg underscore password and rename text box 1 to reg underscore username and obviously button 1 name it to reg and rename the label of the button 1 to register there we go register oh my god what is going on with my typing <laughs> Button 2 is obviously going to be something on the lines of already registered. What the hell just went on? <laughs> right, let me just uh, have a look. What's going on here? Wow, my scheme has just changed. My theme, I mean. So, yeah, back to the tutorial. Already registered. and you're just going to want to resize those buttons and move them around wherever you want and you're going to want to oh, you're going to, going to want to make text box 2 so it's only chars um, basically <coughs> That's about it for the register section. Um, just gonna wanna um, change the form one to register, and what you're gonna wanna do after that is add a new Windows form and name it. login dot vb go back to form one highlight everything control c go to login control v and basically just the 
delete button 2 change button 1 to log in and change the name of button 1 to log and obviously change button 2 to login underscore password and button, uh, text box 1 to login underscore username and basically that's about it um, for the login side um, oh, in fact it's best to rename form1.vb to register.vb um, so basically obviously you're going to have your main project which is going to be I don't know uh, let me just see I'm just going to name something welcome I don't know and basically I'm just going to add uh, label two labels um, and I'm going to change label one to welcome you have logged into you have logged into I'm going to go ahead and change the font and colour change the web Red font 16 size. Welcome, you have logged into, and label 2 is going to be. Um, I'm just going to add two colons, and label. Keep doing that. It's going to be take the text out and it's going to be in blue and it's going to be in font 16. Basically, I'm going to double click welcome load. So, on uh, the main project load page, I'm going to add um, label 2.text equals login dot login underscore username dot text basically what that's going to do is whatever username you log in with it's going to display it right next to here um, which I don't even Basically, from there on, you're basically about done. Um, you just basically need to add the functions and the obviously coding. So, basically, the f what I mean by functions is each um, like register and the login requires a function um, to add a user and basically check a user. Check user obviously means login and add user obviously means register um, which obviously what that does is it pulls the information from like it reads the tables that's inserted into the MySQL database that you created um, so obviously when a new user registers it creates a, a table for that user um, with a username and password known as a serial and basically it will pull that information when it checks for a user so I'm just gonna go ahead and add those functions in and be right back yeah YouTube I'm back uh, basically what I done there was I added some functions and a bit of code um, and basically what happens is here on the login section you have to import system.web also I forgot to mention you have to right click your project add a reference and add assembly system system.web you have to add this um, this DLL 
to your project so you just tick the checkbox and press OK um, and basically you put import system.web, import system.txt and import system.net once you've done that you uh, then can add the functions to check a user which will check the user by authenticating using the authentication page um, which basically it just authenticates the user obviously this is the name of the column 1 which is the username field and that's the name of column 2 which is serial um, and it's to post um, and basically th that's basically about it um, for the function side of that for the, uh, the coding side of it it's like if check user such and such this is obviously my website here YouTube login which is just a temporary directory I've just created um, with a load.php um, that's basically reading from a PHP file which includes some um, PHP code which allows to read from a MySQL database using um, basically a comma and then login underscore username.txt and login underscore username at login underscore password dot text which is going to pull the passwords from the username and password um, and match it with the password and username in the MySQL database and basically I've I've commented it um, and basically so it tells you what to do so you just do whatever you want to do on successful login here and basically a message box will pop up displaying um, whatever username your username is basically saying you've su successfully logged in and basically I've set it so that me.hide which will hide the login section the, like the login form and basically I've commented here type what you want to show on a valid login which obviously means a successful login welcome.show dialog which will be this welcome dialog here and basically this is whatever you want um, on an unsuccessful login. Now let's move to the register side. Basically the function is pretty much the same um, but it's an add user instead which it's not it's, it's not gonna like um, grab users uh, information it's gonna add users information to the table um, by using the store.php file by what basically what it says is it's gonna add to the database that's in the store.php file, I'll show you what I mean shortly um, after I've explained this. And basically what it means is whatever you have in the store.php file, meaning the database user, the database name and the whether like the password, basically what it's gonna do is obviously the username and the serial will be in the store.php which it, what it allows it to do is add reg, reg underscore username the text to the MySQL database and the reg underscore password dot text to the database and basically then from there on I've added a message box which allows um, to display the register dot username thank you for registering with Mr. MW209's login system you are now able to log in with your credentials and um, basically after that it's going to me.hide and then a login.show dialog because you've just registered so you, you want to log in now so that's why the login.show dialog shows and else obviously means if this is incorrect um, if there's a problem with the server that you have running or the web hosting company whatever I don't know um, it's going to basically just display a message box and something went wrong try again later basically button 2, what button 2 is, is already registered as you can see if you've already signed up because this is going to be set for the main um, main startup uh, form so basically if you've already registered you just click that button and basically me.hide which is going to hide this section, this form and then display login.vb which is going to show that dialog Basically, I'm just going to go ahead and debug the program and just show you quickly that it's actually working. So here's the register one. So I don't know, Mr. 
Mr. Modern Warfare 209, thanks for registering with Mr. MW209's login system. You are now able to log in with your credentials. And as you can see, that quickly changed from the register section, the register form, to the login form. So let me go ahead and try and log in with the same credentials. Um, and YouTube123. Let's go ahead and click login. Mr. Modern Warfare 209, you have successfully logged in. Welcome, you have logged into Mr. MW209. So basically, there you go. That's the login script. <laughs> well, not the login script. That's the login um, form that adds users to a database. As you can see, there's no users in this database. So if I go ahead and refresh, there you go. There's a user. I will be uploading a video maybe soon on how these passwords can be encrypted. It is possible to make it read um, but basically that's done and now I'm gonna explain the FTP side of what you have to do um, in order for this to work so as you can see I'm in my YouTube login directory and I'm looking at store and login.php um, basically I'm gonna view and edit and as you can see it's got a bunch of um, a bunch of code in here which obviously reads from the database as this is store so it's going to add as you can see the username column and the serial column is displayed in here and um, this would be either an IP address or local host um, you're best off contacting your web hosting provider to find out that and King mods underscore test is the one that I've just made. Um, yours would be whatever you've just made. I don't know. And test one two three. That's the password. And basically, here it is again with the database um, name, which is King mods underscore test. Um, and basically, that's about it. So obviously, these files are going to be well commented in the description. Um, so it's going to be pretty easy to look at these and basically create what I've just showed you. I'll just show you one more time it's actually working of me logging back in already registered. There we go. Let's change to the login section straight away. Mr. MW209 YouTube123 and I'm going to go ahead and log in. Mr. Modern Warfare 209 you've successfully logged in there we go so it's as simple as that so yeah thanks for watching if you loved this video like I said if you like this video please thumbs up this video it really gives me support and it encourages me to upload a lot more videos um, I received back from my contract about my partnership I've emailed YouTube um, requesting me my account to be linked and I should hear back in the next three weeks um, well not hear back but I should have my partner features in the next three weeks so yeah stay tuned and subscribe and please thumbs up this video peace